I have, therefore, as a lawyer, studied Jewish religion, Christian religion, Buddhist religion, of course, Hindu religion, and Islam. And even yesterday, I was repeating sometime something which I have done for the many, many times I have repeated in public and in my writings. And yesterday I told the judges of the Supreme Court that you don't know that I am a great admirer of the Prophet of Islam because I am a student of the Quran Sharif. And I believe that the essence of Quran, essence of Islam, are two sentences in the Holy Quran. The two sentences are sentence number one, that when you walk in search of knowledge, you walk in the path of God. Second sentence, more important than the first, that the ink of the scholar is holier than the blood of a martyr. And, and I believe that the prophet of Islam was one of the greatest prophets. When the Muslims followed the teaching of their prophet, they became the masters of the whole civilized world. They conquered Spain. As far as Spain, Europe was conquered by them. And I always give the illustration of a Muslim scholar in those days who was very famous. And he was invited by the Khalifa to go and live in his palace. He told him that, why don't you come to my palace and live there and pursue your philosophic studies and so on. That fellow politely refused. So finally, when the Khalifa insisted on knowing the reason of his refusal, he said, sir, if I shift my residence to your palace, I first require 400 camels to transport my library. <laughs> that was Islam at its highest. And that is the Islam of which I am a follower myself. Whatever may be, I am a Hindu, yes, I understand Hinduism and its beauty. But I also understand that the prophet of Islam was one of the greatest prophets born.